Hey here and welcome back to another random match here on WWE 2K16. Tonight we've got set for you Daniel Bryan versus Austin Aries, and this has been suggested by by Stanley Royster. So thank you very much, Stanley. Of course, if anyone else has any suggestions, please let me know in the comments section below. I will get them all noted down and record them for you eventually. I do have a very very big list here now, so uh, I'm uh, basically recording a, I'm recording them at random at the moment. <laughs> really, I'm trying to mix it up with the people as well. So if you do suggest sort of like five or six matches. I'll probably record one of yours for now, then save the rest for maybe a week or so in, and uh, just so I can give everyone their fair turn. But suggested a few days back, and I really like the sound of this one. So, uh, yeah, Daniel Bryan making his return. Oh, Ooh, excuse me, <laughs> making his return to the Ring of Honor arena here to take on Austin Aries, who's recently returned to Ring of Honor himself. Of course, a uh, long time working with TNA now for quite a few years, but. Been released from TNA now. He's working down here at Ring of Honor as well, which is a uh, is great, really, because I'm a big fan of Austin Aries. Always have been. I think he was one of the best guys that TNA had, and I don't think they really used him to his full potential. Really, he had that little tiny period where he went to a face and uh, became the world champion, and that was that was one of the best parts of uh, of TNA for me. And uh, yeah, we're going to use him a lot better in our Ring of Honor universe mode, of course. Austin Aries is going to be given a lot more opportunities. And he may even be involved in the G1 Climax Festival coming up as well. So be sure to keep an eye out for that. Uh, I've completely lost my... I did have all the guys written down I was going to have in the G1 Climax. And I've completely lost them all now. So I'm not quite sure what I'm doing anymore. But here is Daniel Bryan. Who has probably one of the longest entrances on the game I think. But I really like the way the crowd react to his taunts as well. I think that's a really nice little addition into the game this year. I do apologise for burping right at the beginning there. That was a... I've just got back from work and the first thing I did was have a massive glass of Coke and it's just... just uh... I tend to notice that. I, I can sit here in silence for hours not not saying a word because obviously I live my own. So I'm sat there in silence for hours and as soon as I press record, all of a sudden I just want to burp constantly. I don't know what it is. And here is the greatest man that ever lived, Austin Aries. Of course, um, Austin Aries was spotted recently at the NXT tapings. He was backstage for the tapings. He had his gear with him as well, but he was not on the show. He didn't have a dark match or anything like that, so rumour has it that he was competing sort of in a uh, in a tryout match uh, behind doors sort of thing for, for NXT to really have a look at, at what he can offer to them. And uh, and like I said earlier on, Austin Aries is one of my favourite wrestlers and I really think that he could offer NXT a lot. He would suit that NXT roster so well. And I just imagine some of the fantastic matches he could put on as well in NXT. So hopefully we'll get a chance at some point to see him in NXT. And uh, I have uh, ideas of ways to get him into our NXT roster at some point in the universe mode. So uh, be sure to keep an eye out for that one. But here we go. This is going to be a, a really good match, this one. Like I said, this is Daniel Bryan versus Austin Aries. Suggestion from Stanley Royster. So thank you very much, Stanley, if you are watching. I hope you are. And like I said, any more suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below. Daniel Bryan now starting things off at Chain Wrestling. And Austin Aries taking control now of that, that armbar. It's not an armbar, is it? That's an armbar. Daniel Bryan starting to work on that arm early on. Of course, that's a, a wise thing for Daniel Bryan because we know he likes to lock in the label lock and doing damage to that arm early on is going to help him uh, maybe get the submission victory later on. And of course, we had, we had a lot of good... Um, good times of Austin Aries in our 2k15 universe mode he he was a several time ring of honor television champion never made it to the main event though never made it towards the ring of honor championship and uh, I'm hoping this year he will get an opportunity to do so I have mentioned in one of my uh, one of my most recent episodes of the universe mode that I'm considering dropping maybe one or two rosters just to uh, just so I can give more time to all these shows and and do it a little bit. If I did do that, if I if I dropped it down to four shows per week, then it would mean we'll be able to have a pay per view every single month for every show as well, and we'll be able to have feuds every month. So that's something that I'm definitely thinking of doing. It's just trying to decide who we would drop at the moment. Brian, there, the great Saito suplex there on Austin Aries, clubbing blow as well. Reverse DDT there by Daniel Bryan. 
Both guys back up to their feet, and Brian is dominating this match so far. And there he is with a butterfly suplex into an armbar. Great move. Austin Aries down. And it was suggested to me the other day, actually, and uh, I've lost my piece of paper. I'm going to go out on a punt here and try and remember who it was off the top of my head. I've got a lot of pieces of paper on my desk at the moment. I've got stuff from Minecraft, stuff from Fallout. There we go. I found it. I've actually found it. And I was actually right as well. It was Kyrie Bellick. You suggested that at some point we do a, a special Ring of Honor pay-per-view, a one-night-only Ring of Honor style pay-per-view where we bring back certain stars that are currently at WWE, um, such like uh, Daniel Bryan, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, uh, Seth Rollins, all back to just like one night only. Do a do a joint sort of pay-per-view alongside Ring of Honor, and I really like that idea. So that's something I'm thinking uh, that we will run with at some point in the future. As Austin Aries goes to the pin, one, no, only a one count. Big right hand there by Daniel Bryan. Now taking Aries up again into that butterfly suplex into a into an armbar. Big right hand there by Aries. He now went for a backdrop, but Daniel Bryan managed to flip his way out. But Aries catches him straight away in the snap there, and now Daniel Bryan with a punch to the stomach, now making his way back up to his feet now. And a big boot to the back of the leg, and this is not the place that Austin Aries wants to be in. And a big roundhouse kick there from Daniel Bryan, taking Austin Aries down. Bryan pulling Aries into the middle of the ring, rolls him over. He's going to go for a pin. He does. One, two. Only a two count. We thought that, that Daniel Bryan was going to be successful here on his return to the Ring of Honor arena. I'm really getting a lot of use out of this Ring of Honor arena. Daniel Bryan now hands on hips. Trying to decide what he needs to do next. But may have taken a little bit too long as Austin Aries back up on his feet now. Sending Daniel Bryan across the ring. Went for a drop kick, but Bryan avoided it. And Bryan now oh, gets caught with that German suplex by Austin Aries. Very innovative move there by Aries. Straight into the pin. One, two. It's only a two count. Once again, the match continues. Aries with a Saito suplex once again. Aries bringing Brian back up to his feet now. Backdrop by Aries. Flips straight back up onto his feet. And now Aries is going up top. We know he likes to use that 450. Is this what he's going for now? Oh, he gets caught, though. He gets caught from the dive straight away into the label lock here by Daniel Bryan, middle of the ring. Is this going to be enough to pick up the victory? No, it's not. And I'm still un I still don't like the, the way that they, um, they make them release the submission holds. I, I, I know it's the whole point of having the submission stat is that people with uh, submission skills are more chance of, uh, of getting a, a submission victory. But still, I, I just think that I don't think that anyone should ever just release a submission hold like that. I think it should always be it should always be um, either broken or reaching the ropes. I think. Aries now has the arms hooked of Daniel Bryan. Butterfly suplex. Beautiful move by Aries. And a big stamp on the arm by Aries as well on, on Daniel Bryan. And again, Aries taking Bryan up. And there's the brain buster. Aries could do... Why has Aries not gone for the pin? What does Aries have in mind here? A Pele kick, is that going to be all now? Maybe not. As Aries continues the assault here on Daniel Bryan. Stamping the knees into the mat. And why, why hasn't Aries gone for a pin? He, he hit his brain buster finisher manoeuvre. 
He hit his comeback combination. He may live to regret that, you know. Big blow across the back there by Aries. And Daniel Bryan slides at the back and clubbing blow across the back of Aries to himself. But Aries with the back elbows fighting Bryan away. Went for a drop kick and Daniel Bryan just slaps it away. Now Daniel Bryan getting the crowd behind him. Sending Aries into the corner. Flipping over the top there, Bryan. Comes back, ducks the clothesline. And there's the big running forearm on, on Austin Aries. Now Bryan's going up top. What does he have planned? It's a big diving headbutt on Austin Aries. Could this be all in for the pin? He goes. One. Two. Oh, and Austin Aries kicks out. Daniel Bryan could not believe it. He thought he'd done enough then to finish Austin Aries off. Another Saito suplex. Now Daniel Bryan lining Austin Aries up. And there's that big running knee strike. And surely this time, that's going to be all. Daniel Bryan drops into the pin. One two and three and there you go Daniel Bryan picks up the victory here over Austin Aries successful return to the Ring of Honor arena here for Daniel Bryan for this random match and once again thank you very much to Stanley Royster for suggesting this it was a great idea it's given us a really good match here as well actually And there was the early pin after those uh, combination of kicks. And I'm still just surprised that Austin Aries did not go for the pin after he hit the Brain Buster. And then after he hit his, uh, his comeback combination as well, he still declined to go for the pin. And I think if he'd actually gone for it there and then, he, he might have actually got the victory. But, but there we go. I'll have to wait and see what happens, I suppose. I just found a random piece of paper on my desk. And uh, I've got some random matches on here that's been suggested. I'm not quite sure if I've put them into my folder which is a little bit annoying if not then I'm going to record one right now I think I've actually already recorded one actually thinking about it but here's that big uh, running knee strike from Daniel Bryan that finished Austin Aries off and uh, yeah I think I think the idea that Kyrie Bellick had about the uh about maybe having a, a, a Ring of Honor one-off pay-per-view where we bring back the big names, I think was a really good idea. And uh, and that's definitely something that I think we'll go ahead and do as well. Like I said, I'm thinking, I just had a, a little mind bubble, and I'm thinking of definitely dropping two rosters from the universe mode. That would allow us to have a pay-per-view for every, uh, every, every single uh, roster per month which means we'll always have feuds ongoing which I think is definitely the way to go I just have to decide now the next few weeks which ones we're going to have to drop of course if you guys have any uh, any preferences of rosters you'd like to see me keep going with then please let me know I'm thinking one we might have to drop is the retro roster but, uh, but yeah let, let me know if there's any you definitely want me to keep in but I'm thinking I'm going to need to drop two just to uh, just be able to continue putting the videos out every single day for you guys but Anyway, that's enough of me blabbing on. If you have liked this video, then be sure to hit that like button. And, of course, subscribe for a lot more WWE 2K16 footage. I've been Shabby Gamer. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all next time.